Good day everyone, today we will be discussing about creative writing, what are its characteristics, and how is it different with other forms of writing. Now before we discuss about creative writing, let's answer this question here. What do you think is the purpose of writing? We all know that a lot of people write for different reasons. But some of the common reasons why people write include to entertain other people. Or also, it could be used to entertain himself or herself. Writing could also be used to share a particular experience that the writer has and wants to tell other people. Also, writing can be used to help make sense of the world around us to explain how things are going, why things are happening, and what is going on around us. Furthermore, writing is also a way to provide a means of expressing oneself. And most importantly, writing is used to convey or share an idea or a message to other people. Now at this point, let's talk about a different writing styles. Writing can be classified into five basic types, namely academic writing, expressive writing, expository writing, persuasive writing, and of course, creative writing. When we say academic writing, it refers to conveying specific information about a technical subject or a topic to a specific audience. Academic writing would probably be the most formal of all the writing styles as it aims to explain or discuss a particular topic or concept to a group of people using words or jargons that are recognized only by that target audience. When we say expressive writing, it is a subjective response to a personal experience. Examples would be journals, diaries, or blogs. Expressive writing would pretty much be a means for a writer to share an experience that he or she might have. Expository writing aims to expose a topic analytically and objectively. It aims to explain or reveal knowledge or a particular information. Consider news writing. In news writing, the writers aim to inform the readers about certain updates regarding a certain issue or topic. Of course, we have persuasive writing, which aims to change the attitudes of the reader and motivate them to take action. Lastly, we have creative writing, which is fiction. Some examples would be poetry, novels, short stories, and plays. Creative writing, from the word itself, creative, relies heavily on the writer's imaginative skills. Now, even though we have different types of writing styles, we are going to focus on creative writing. Now, as mentioned earlier, we are going to talk about creative writing. Now, let's answer this particular question here. What is creative writing? Creative writing is writing that expresses the writer's inner thoughts and feelings in an imaginative and often unique and poetic way. It is guided more by the writer's need to express the feelings and ideas than by restrictive demands of factual and logical progression of expository writing. And of course, it sometimes follows a given set of rules and sometimes throws caution to the winds and breaks all of them. The main purpose of creative writing, based on how others would see it, is mainly for expressing yourself in an imaginative way. It could be through poems, stories, novels, or pretty much anything as long as it caters to you expressing yourself by using your imagination. Now at this point, let's differentiate creative writing and academic writing. As mentioned earlier, academic writing is probably one of the most formal means of writing there is. Whereas creative writing is the complete opposite as it doesn't follow any structure or any guideline or rule in terms of writing output. In terms of content, academic writing contents are factual and straightforward. While creative writing tends to be imaginative, it is symbolic and metaphoric. In terms of audience, the audience of academic writing is specific. Again, mentioned earlier, it is addressed to only a certain group of people. Whereas creative writing is general, 
Remember that creative writing is considered as an art, therefore, it is addressed for everyone. In terms of purpose, academic writing is for the purpose of informing, for instructing, or even persuading other people. While in creative writing, it is mainly for entertaining, provoking ideas or thoughts, and to captivate the readers. In terms of writing style, academic writing style is formal, standard, and academic. Whereas in creative writing, it is informal, it is artistic, and of course, figurative. The tone of academic writing is objective, while the tone of creative writing is subjective. In terms of the use of vocabulary, academic writing is specialized. It uses specific words, expressions, or jargons that are recognized only by the target audience. Whereas in creative writing, it is general and evocative meaning anyone can understand it. It could be relatable for anyone and everyone. In terms of organization, academic writing is sequential and systematic, while creative writing is arbitrary and artistic. Now let's talk about the characteristics of creative writing. First, the contents of creative writing are imaginative, metaphoric, and symbolic. Meaning, contents of creative writing pieces are based on the writer's ability to construct stories or images based on imagination. Also, it often contains elements that symbolize or represent other ideas or concepts. In creative writing, for us to be creative writers, we have to rely on our creative feeling and of course, our imagination. The next characteristic of creative writing is having a general audience. When we say general audience, it means that it is for everyone. It is not just for a specific group of people. As I have mentioned earlier, creative writing is an art, therefore it is for everyone. Since it is for everyone, we should also expect that it is always open for interpretation. Meaning, how a person would interpret a particular literature would be dependent or relevant on how he or she would understand and appreciate it. The next characteristic is in terms of purpose, creative writing aims to entertain, provoke, and captivate the readers. Now, we have to understand that creative writing is used primarily as a form of expressing ideas and emotions in a creative manner. As such, it aims to appeal to the interest and imagination of the readers through the effective use of imagery and figurative language. Another characteristic is that creative writing follows a style or form which is informal, artistic, or figurative. We have to bear in mind that creative writing is not restricted by format or guidelines regarding how to write literary pieces. Although, of course, if we are writing a short story or a novel, we have to abide by the basic principle which is following the plot. That way, the sequence of events would be logical and would be easily understood by our readers. For all the others, we are free to have our own style, we are free to have our own format, and we are free to have our own manner of writing. We have to remember that there is no recommended guideline or format in creative writing. The style is relative to the writer. The writer's identity becomes associated with the style. We have to take note that there are no two literary styles or literary works that are the same because the literary style is unique to the writer himself. Next, in terms of the tone, creative writing follows a subjective tone. This means that the tone used by the writer is dependent on what he wants to convey. When we say subjective, this means that the writer allows his ideas or emotions or opinions about a certain topic to be influenced by how he or she would write about a certain topic. Whatever literary work he is going to produce is very much influenced by his current emotion about a certain topic or theme that he is writing about. 
We have to remember that creative writing is a means for self-expression. Therefore, whatever the writer is feeling about a certain topic, just like what was mentioned earlier, is going to reflect in his output. Next, when it comes to vocabulary, creative writing uses vocabulary that is general and evocative. When we say general and evocative, this means that the writer is free to use words that would reinforce the emotions or mood that he wants the readers to feel. The writer is trying to evoke positive or negative emotions depending on whatever words or expressions he is going to use in the particular literary piece. Also, we have to remember that it aims for the readers to relate to the context of the literature through the use of expressions and vocabulary that is relatable to the public. Remember, as mentioned earlier, in comparison with academic writing that uses jargons which are understood by a specific group of people, in creative writing, it uses vocabulary words that are general, which means it is understandable by everyone. Therefore, everyone could relate to whatever story, whatever idea, whatever theme is presented in the literary piece. Again, in terms of form, creative writing follows an arbitrary or artistic manner of writing. As mentioned earlier, there is no single recommended format in creative writing. This means that creative writing is dependent on the writer himself. It is unique and tends to reflect the artistic vibes of the writer. Just to re-emphasize, earlier it was mentioned that there are no two literary works that are the same because each particular literary piece is dependent on the style or the form that is used by the writer. Next, in terms of clarity, of course, creative writing is relatable and easily understood by a lot of people because since creative writing is addressed for everyone, writers tend to use words, expressions, and contexts which are relatable for everyone, as what was mentioned in the vocabulary discussion earlier. Next, another characteristic of creative writing is that it always involves emotions, meaning that it aims to be emphatic. This means that effective creative writers are able to engage the readers through effective use of words, figurative language, and imagery that paints an image and appeals to the emotions of the readers. We have to bear in mind that in creative writing, we can write about any kind of emotion or pretty much anything that we would feel, whether it's being victorious or being happy about something, feeling in love, or even feeling frustration. We could pretty much write about it in our literary pieces. The next characteristic of creative writing is the presence of the element of thrill. This refers to the plot buildup. This is applicable for those who are writing novels, short stories, one-act plays, full-length plays, or even dramas. Because we have to remember that plot writing, when done effectively, is able to keep the readers hooked. They want to continue reading as they want to discover what happens in each scene and know how the story would come to an end. And lastly, creative writing always tells a story. This refers to the insight, experience, the moment, or the emotions that writers use as an inspiration when writing their literary pieces. Now, regardless of what form of fiction we are writing, whether it's poems, novels, short stories, or others, it always involves around the context of telling a story to the readers. Whether it's a poem about experiencing heartbreak, or telling a story about the happy experiences of a certain character, or pretty much a novel that would focus on how a sad character is able to find happiness at the end. It always revolves around emotions, and thus it tells the story to the readers. In a nutshell, creative writing is for everyone. People use this to freely express themselves in a manner that is uniquely their own. Through creative writing, we are able to tell a story, share an experience, and even paint a picture through the use of our own words. Compared with other forms of writing, 
Creative writing gives us the freedom to write just about anything that can come into our minds. Thus, people use this as a means of escape and connecting with other people.